Welcome back everyone. The formulation is done. The testing was approved. Now we just need a super cool packaging. So follow me. Hi Sebastian. Nice hey, to meet you. Good to see you. Sebastian, I'm just coming from the test salon, which we saw a wonderful result about Illumen. But now, because we're in packaging, mm -hmm. what are you doing in your daily business when it came to Illumen packaging? You are really lucky today because I'm actually working on exactly this packaging at the moment. This is in a little older packaging, so okay. it's on the market for a couple of years already. And? And the tooling is, mm -hmm. is dated, so we have okay. to build a new mold. And you can have a look here in our 3D system and we are trying to optimize the closure. Okay. This tool is going to be rebuilt. Sounds really interesting. And we take this opportunity to improve the drop testing stability. So you want that all our stylists all around the world, they know when they are using the Illumin bottle, everything is safe and everything is usable. Of course. Okay. Sounds really interesting. So and once you have seen it here in 3D, yes. we can also have a look. Uh -huh. next door, mm. printed on a 3D printer. Oh, you I want to see it? I would love to see it. I never see a 3D okay. printer before. It's just over here. Okay. This is the 3D printer I told you about. Yeah, yeah. And the 3D data you have just seen on my computer screen yeah. have been sent over to the printer. And we can have a look. Dun -dun. Now. This little sample here. Wow, it's still hot a little bit. So I really see here the all the details, very interesting. We can then try mm. and put it on the on the bottle. And if it fits and if everything is okay, yeah. we can say, yes, the 3D data is correct. Everything is there, just so one thing is missing, right? You mean the color? Yeah. Yeah, color is not possible in 3D printing. Okay. But we can go downstairs in the lab, in the basement. I would love and to. And see the injection molding machine. Here is our injection molding machine, Jerome. Wow. And there's and a now, lot of wow. okay. plastic granules inside, which mm -hmm. are molded into the cavity. Woo. Oh yeah. So, let's take a look how our sample looks like. Be careful, it's warm still. And then we can see how our 3D printed sample is now matching. It's now colored. Woo. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. And this is exactly the kind of production method how we make these packaging components, injection molding. That's all? There's now one thing missing, so we have to see if one. our changes have been successful. Okay, one more. Let's one go more back test. to the lab. What's this? This is the final test. Okay. So we wanted to improve the closure properties. So it's a make or break. Exactly. Okay, so Sebastian, now let's, let's take a look. And then when I press this button, mm -hmm. this machine is now elevating on one meter height. One meter height. And then it drops down the bottle exactly on this position of the closure. Ooh. So now, let's take a look. Wow. That looks very good. Nothing happened. So the drop test has passed. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your work, Sebastian. Thanks everyone for watching and we see us next time with our next video.